G'day, this is Captain Noob, and this is an Executioner's Leave Reaction Rifle. Now, I've taken a look at the Executioner's Legendary Effect before on a combat rifle, and it was pretty good. We're going to be using it as a Rifleman build this time, and what better weapon to use it on a Leave Reaction Rifle? Speaking of which, I think the only Leave Reaction Rifle I've had on the channel is maybe a two-shot explosive one. My memory's hazy, it all blends together, but yeah, this is going to be a more of a baseline look. Obviously, we're going to get more damage out of this thing when we, uh when our targets are at low health, so that's even better. And even without perks, this thing is almost 100 damage, which is pretty damn good. So the hardened receiver doing some good work there. There's some super mutants shooting at my house. Just ignore those, I'll shoot them after I'm done with this. So obviously we're going to be chucking on all of the rifleman perks. We've also got tank kill and concentrated fire for a little bit more uh, armor penetration and concentrate fires for vats, and to increase our damage ever so slightly more, we're going to add bloody mess, and we've also got tormentor here, that'll help us uh, cripple some limbs if we want, because honestly, I don't feel like using vats, we're going to be using our natural aim for most of this, and with all of those perks activated, those bastards shut out my wall. Yeah, we've got 171 damage, which is pretty damn good indeed. Teach you to fucking shoot at my wall when I'm recording. So, standard loadout, chameleon limbs, and stand fast, and here are my buffs, and let's get started with the super mutants, as usual, and look at that accuracy, that's so good. The amount of accuracy that I've been getting out of my revolvers on my uh, gunslinger build doesn't come close to this. So, yeah, we're going to be taking out these super mutants very easily. Unfortunately, um, I wanted to use this thing with a reflex sight, but I forgot that, uh, uh <laughs> that, um... Chameleon just sort of uh, destroys your reflex side vision. That's why I usually have scopes on these weapons, so Chameleon doesn't really bother me. But that's okay. What we can do is aim in third person, and I can also show you the uh, uh, Starlet Sniper outfit or something. That was a thing that I got, so... Yep, now that we're in caution and sneak attack critting at will, we can easily kill these super mutants like so. And just like the good old fixed reload of this thing, reloading this thing is very, very easy indeed. And you can just, like, shoot somebody and then reload as you're traveling to the next one. So, a very good change of that reload fix, wasn't it? Unfortunately, they didn't fix it in Fallout 4, which is annoying because, you know, it... Fallout 4 needs some patching love too, says the person hasn't worked on mods in it for ages. But still, I'm not paid to do this stuff. And are we done? I feel like I missed a dude. I indeed did. One crit for you, and you die instantly. Yeah, I'm not seeing the Executioner's Legendary Effect do that. Oh wait, no, there's another dude. Well, maybe we can see it against this Super Mutant. He's going to regenerate once though, so keep that in mind. There we go, he's regenerated. Well, I don't know, maybe we didn't hit that uh, threshold in time. We probably had, like, when he got under that 40 percent health threshold we were a one shot kill away anyway so haven't seen it there that was only a uh, overlord though so that's fine it is currently in the middle of the day despite the lighting situation making this look not quite as usual or either that or they've just tweaked stealth a little bit because there's no bloody way they would have seen me under normal circumstances like that so i'm not sure what's going on there to be honest i'm a little bit uh confused on why that super mutant would have been able to see me like that it, surely they never used to do that, but it doesn't matter. So the reflex sight, I haven't really taken a look at them on the um, any sniper weapons like the sniper rifle or the um, lever action rifle, but you do you still get a nice zoom in. We've still got the true barrel and stock to tighten up our hip fire accuracy. That is a very angry turret indeed. And the hip fire accuracy allows us to do stuff like that, which is useful for killing these guys like that. I don't know where all these super mutants come from. I think I walked into an ambush. Or, oh, actually, I think some other dude has uh, come in here and it forced all the enemies to respawn. But that's okay. We can deal with this stuff. A little bit of that goes a long way with this. And yeah, that's what the reflex sight looks like. I feel like that's unaligned right now. Uh-oh. Oh, no. It's another Fallout 76 feature. Yeah, that, that's unaligned. Maybe if I switch out of viewpoints. There we go. Whoops. Might want to get that one looked at, Bethesda. Wink, wink, nudge, nudge. There's another legendary super mutant down in a shot. And uh, what have we got down here? Another legendary. Yeah, right. All right, we'll just keep on going then. In fact, we'll have double spawns for everything. We might not go inside at this point because we've had double spawns here to get you an idea of what this is like against super mutants. 
And no, they just decided to respawn. Or a whole bunch of them just run outside. But I think you get the idea. This thing is very powerful. So, <coughs> we should move on now. So, we should probably move on now. And I sneezed, so there was that's the reason why there was a jump cut. Uh-oh, speaking of feature lists, the, the caution bug's happening again. So I did clear them all out. I was going to say, maybe I didn't. I'll have another sleep, but no. It looks like we're just in caution for no particularly good reason. So let's slaughter these ghoulie dudes. Hang on, there's a rad roach sitting on the flames over there. <laughs> That's a nice send-off. Hope you got a stunt double for that one, mate. Would, would they even have stump doubles, or would they be withered? Withered ferals, you can do better than that, you bastards. Come on. Where are all the charred boys at? Where are all the big fat fuckers? There they are. So, yeah, the spawns have been a little bit dodgy thus far, and uh, the Wendigo, or whoever is the boss around here, hasn't really made an appearance yet. And now we're instantly in danger. I just took one single step, and now we're in the shit. Right, okay. So this is before they do the server side maintenance, so I think that might be why this might be a little bit on the old buggy side. Ah, there's the Wendigo. I've got a crit save just for you. And now I am in uh, four kinds of shit right now. Just uh, let me just pass you guys through. Thank you. Very courteous for them to uh, leave me alone whilst I retreat out of this thing. Hopefully we can go back into caution enough to make sure these guys don't bother us again. And my aim is failing. This is why I use bats, as you can tell. And now there's a whole lot of dudes around. So if I miss a shot, that's entirely fucking on me. And uh, there's the reload there. I lack the hunting rifle. It's so good compared to this thing. The lever action rifle basically obsoletes it in every single form. Fire rate, reload speed, mag capacity, yeah, but the best magazines are only five bullets anyway. He's going to explode. That's going to throw all my legendary ghouls around as well, which is kind of annoying. All right, we'll have one last sweep in here, and we'll see what we can find. Of course, these blokes haven't bothered to, you know, get up, and this one. He's not even bothering to face me today. So I'm just going to miss that first shot as a little bit of a warning. Caution brackets are all the way out. That is as good as hidden. We are definitely done here. All right, so we'll go and fight some monsters now. Hopefully we can make some better use out of this Executioner's Legendary Effect. Yes. But just like uh, most times I call it early. So, yep, yeah, we're clear. Let's move on. But there's, there's three more ghouls. There's four more ghouls even. Well, now there is... About one more. Ooh, <laughs> that's a cool legendary uh, prefix. That'll be an underleveled blade, though, so... Oh, well. Okay, this time we'll move on for reals. Alrighty, time to make good use out of this legendary effect. So, uh, take it away, Swan. Oh, yeah, that difference was super noticeable there. Yeah, we showed it off. You can go, you can go home now. Video's over. Well, you know, right after I kill this guy, yeah, that's when the video is going to be over. So we'll just do the old sneaky sneak up on this bloke and uh, totally cloak ourselves here. And uh, is he still here? Oh yeah, he super is. Gotta be sneaky. Everybody be quiet. He's around here somewhere. There's old mate. Do you reckon we should go for his fusion core? Oh, you really shouldn't have waved at me. I want to go for his fusion core. Let's do that. I'll leave you stuff, don't worry. And a quick little run over here. Let's go ahead and kill some uh, Myluck dudes. Also, this time I've switched up my perks a little bit. So we've got Bloody Mess, Better Criticals, and Four Leaf Clover now instead of Tormentor. Ooh, there's another legendary. Let's activate that critical on his face. Yeah, took him out nice and easily. Oh, and another three star. Okay. Although the detection in this server is bad, the legendary RNG seems to not be. Oh, I'm back into hidden for like the first time in ages. I will not be using that. That is a weapon of a communist. No, thank you. 
All right, we'll drop that one there, and you can die next, friend, if I just get those easy headshots on you. Well, he, he's done his little thing where he regenerates, and now he's given us a chameleon marine bit. I don't really know what to make of that. I like combat armor better, to be honest, but that could be worth it if it's got some cool legendary effects. And now here is the queen. Oh, wait, hang on. We need to show off damage, so damage at that. 290. Hopefully we can take the queen in time, so let's see what we can do. She's also legendary, so there you go. Uh, probably should have uh, reloaded before taking the queen, but now we are good. And now we should be back at damage 10%. Okay, we've got to show off this adrenaline damage one way or another, but what do we get from the queen? Uh, no, don't ever use that thing. All of your fusion cells will be consumed in the process of firing, so definitely no. But how cool does this Starlet Sniper outfit look like? It's pretty cool. It's going to be gone soon, so that's why I got it. Alrighty, so it looks like we've got a bunch of uh, gun zombies down there, so let's start trouble with those guys before taking on the bat. And again, I'm going to have to aim this in third person to make sure I actually can hit stuff. So there we go, there's number four. And when he detects me, if he detects me, he'll probably start sending out his boys my way. So uh, we'll see if we can catch up with some more gun zombies in just a second. Just to have a little bit of VATS gameplay here. It's a little bit slow, but it's quicker than the hunting rifle. Also, it took us out of cloaking for a second there. So looks like the Scorch Beast things do move you a little bit. Well, that was easy. And uh, still at 50% plus damage. I'm probably just going to cut to like a, a thing where I can show you that because I'm committed to that guy, damn it. Okay, damage plus 60% and this thing is doing 320 damage. Yep. And on that note, I think that is about it for this video. Thank you very much for watching. If you actually want to pick this weapon up, I'm probably just going to sell it otherwise. Do let me know. Uh, talk to me on the Discord because I won't... Uh, YouTube comments are hard to keep on replying to, but Discord's easy. So if you really want this, let me know. Thank you for watching, guys.